Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to completely format your computer and reinstall the latest version of Windows 10. And by formatting you'll also delete all of your personal files, all of these installed application and also this method will remove any viruses or malware that is installed on your computer. And let me tell you guys once again that all of your personal files like photos, documents and everything else which you've stored on your computer will be deleted so do take a backup of those files before you begin. Alright guys so let's begin. The first thing you'll need is a USB flash drive. An 8GB USB flash drive will be more than enough. So get your blank USB flash drive and insert it in the uh, computer. Secondly note down the version of operating system that you're running. So for example I'm running Windows 10 Pro, just note it down somewhere and close this window. I'll tell you why later on. Now you need to open your web browser and go to this website. I'll put this link down in the video description, you guys can check it out over there. So go to this website, scroll down and download this create Windows 10 installation media. So you need to download this media creation tool. So once that's been downloaded, go ahead and run. And now you can go ahead and close your web browser. You can see the tool is initializing. And yes, make sure that your USB drive is plugged in at the moment. Click on accept. Select the second option which says create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC. Click on next again and I recommend that you leave this option checked which says use the recommended option for this PC. Click on next and select the first option which says USB flash drive. Click on next and again you can see this is a Sony USB flash drive so it says Sony USB uh, it will vary from brand different brands so this is a Sony flash drive I'm gonna click next Windows 10 is being downloaded onto the flash drive and now we gotta wait until the download is finished and I'll be right back and just a few minutes later the download is finished and your USB drive should look somewhat like this with this icon and it will have all the necessary setup files for Windows 10. Also, I do recommend that you download the appropriate drivers for your computer. So for example, this is an Acer laptop. Go to Acer's website, go to support, click on drivers and manuals. And now you need to find out which model number your computer is. So for that, click on start and search for system, system information you need to and this is a windows built-in application so your computer will definitely have this open it and see which model your computer is so this is a Acer Aspire 5745 I can now type 5745 should appear you can see Aspire 5745 which is this particular model number again you can download Windows 7 drivers it will work just fine I do recommend downloading the wireless LAN, the LAN driver and the VGA driver. Rest of the drivers, Windows 10 will download them automatically once it is connected to the internet. Now we can close this. Now once the drivers have been downloaded, they will be usually in the downloads folder. Go ahead, copy everything and paste it on the USB drive. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta restart the computer and boot from the USB flash drive. So make sure that the USB flash drive is plugged in into your computer at this moment. And we're gonna restart. And I'll be pressing the F12 key because the F12 key on this computer opens the boot menu. Uh, you'll need to open the boot menu on your computer and just Google the model number and you'll find out how to open the boot menu on your computer. Usually it's the F12 key on the Acer computer so I'm gonna wait 
press until the boot manager appears like this so let me show you guys and for newer computers like these you can see the F12 key will not work to get into the boot menu so there is a way past that and I'll show you just right now so if you have a newer computer like this and the F12 key does not work for boot menu so you need to do this open this sidebar over here and go to all settings inside the all settings you need to go to update and security go to recovery and select this second option which says advanced startup click on restart now select the second option which shows use a device use a USB drive net connection or Windows recovery DVD and you should leave your USB drive plugged in while you do this EFI USB device and now you'll see it will start up from the USB drive there you go it's a little bit different for this for these newer computers but yeah uh, with this guide you should be able to boot up into windows setup just like this and now you can go ahead and continue on with the setup and now we got to start from the sony storage media which is this one so i'm going to select the second option now you can see it is starting up from the usb drive Alright, so it says it looks like you started an upgrade and booted from the installation media. If you would like to continue with the upgrade, remove the installation media and click yes. If you want to perform a clean install instead, click on no. So we want to perform a clean install, we're gonna click no. So just click on next, click on install now. enter a product key if you have one I don't have a product key for this computer it gets activated automatically on the internet so I'm just gonna click I don't have a product key and now if you remember we checked what edition of Windows we had I had Windows 10 Pro so I'm gonna select Windows 10 Pro and if you have Windows 10 Home you need to select Windows 10 Home and same if you have Windows Home single language select the Windows Home single language option so since I had in Windows 10 Pro installed, I'm going to select that and click Next. Click I accept the license terms and click Next again. Select the second option which says Install Windows Only Advanced. Now we're going to delete all of these partitions one by one. There we go. Now I'm going to click new, click on apply. And now we need to install Windows on the bigger partition, which is this one. This will be the system reserve partition. You cannot install on that. So select the bigger partition and just click on next. And there you have it. That's all you need to do. And now Windows 10 will begin the installation process. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Alright guys, now you can see the computer is formatted and Our region is set to United States. Is that right? And Windows is 
freshly installed so it's asking me to configure no that is not right which region do you want to use India I've got that you want to use India is that right yes yes Your keyboard is set to English, India. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. And there you have it, guys. You don't even, don't even need to touch the keyboard. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? No. Okay, how about this next one on the list? No. Zero for two. I'll quit guessing now. Go ahead and select the one you'd like to use. Now you can see it's asking me to connect to the internet. Uh, I'm now gonna... type your credentials. Now type your credentials. Alright guys, so I'm gonna connect to the internet and I'll be right back. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Alright, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Now, let us know if this computer is owned by your work or school, or if it's yours. We'll set it up accordingly. So this computer is mine? Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. So this is a personal computer. It's asking me to sign in with, sign in with a Microsoft account, but I'm going to use an offline account. Uh, it's your wish if you want to sign in with Microsoft, you can sign in or you can create an offline account. So I prefer using an offline account. about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know, Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? Nope. Type what you want to name your account. So we're going to name it Acer, but you can name it whatever you want. Okay, now type a password for your account. We're going to do that later. If you want, you can type in a password. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Yeah, and you can use Cortana, but I don't prefer using this Cortana because it takes up a lot of my personal information. So I'm going to click no, but if you want to use Cortana, press on yes. I'm going to click no. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Again, I because of privacy reasons, I usually turn all of these off and click on accept. But again, it's your wish if you want to leave these settings okay. on. That's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Alright guys, now you can see we're on the Windows desktop, you can see my USB is still plugged in. Now we can go ahead and install all the drivers, but first thing I want to see whether or not Windows is activated. Go to all settings, and this is the latest version of Windows, the Windows 10 creators up there, so you do have this uh, Xbox game DVR, game bar, and this nightlight filter. So go to update and security and it is a little bit slow because it is still uh, configuring itself but go to activation you can see Windows 10 is activated no problem and just a few minutes later you can see Windows has automatically installed the video driver now everything is working fine 
the touchpad also works Wi-Fi works Bluetooth works so there we go I think computer restart is required but there we go guys this is how you clean install the latest version of Windows 10 a lot of disk space is free and we did not even need to use these drivers which I downloaded earlier Windows 10 automatically takes care of your computer's drivers it is still working on that alright guys so thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys later bye